In this problem, we're told an automobile engine develops a torque of 255 newton meters at 3,750 revs per minute. What is the horsepower of the engine? So before we solve this problem, let's write down what we're given. So what are we given? So we're told that it's going to have a torque, uh, which is equal to 255 newton meters. So 255 newton meters for the torque, and then it's going to be uh, it's going to go 3,750 uh, revolutions per minute. And so that's basically uh, omega, which is the angular velocity. And they tell us it's 3,750 RPM. So those are that's what we're given. And so what we're trying to do is find the horsepower of the engine. So we're solving for power, right? And you need to know that power is going to be equal to the torque multiplied by uh, the angular velocity. So we have the torque and we have the angular velocity. And so what we can do is multiply them and solve for the power. But when we do this, we need to make sure our torque is in newton meters and our uh, angular velocity, it needs to be measured in uh, radians per second. So it's an RPM right now. We got to convert it though. So let's go ahead and convert that. So revolutions per minute, this is what it's in right now. And we got to make it in radians per second. So we know that there's one minute for every 60 seconds. So that'll cancel out the minutes. And then we know that one revolution is equal to two pi radians. So two pi radians over one rev. It's going to cancel that. So do 3,750 divided by 60 times two pi. And if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get uh, 392.699. And then this is going to be in radians per second. So radians per second. And now we've got it like this, uh, we can actually plug it in, right? Because now this is in newton meters. Angular velocity is going to be in radians per second. So power will be equal to 255 multiplied by 392.699. So if you go ahead and do this, right, you're going to get uh, 100,000, 138.2658. And this is going to be in watts, but keep in mind they're asking for horsepower. So what we need to do is convert this into horsepower. So in order to do that, you basically need to know that uh, one horsepower is equal to 746 watts. So this is in watts, right? So all we got to do is divide this number by 746, and it's going to give it to us in horsepower. So just take this number, divide by 746. And if you go ahead and do that, you're going to get... 134.2336 and so on uh, and this is going to be eight horsepower and so i'm just going to round to the whole number so 134 horsepower right so this is going to be the horsepower of the engine 134 horsepower and yeah so that's your answer and hopefully you found this useful